Little and I'm a teacher at Quest School. As you may detect from my accent, I'm not from here. Instead, I come from some islands in the Pacific known collectively as New Zealand. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my country. I'm then going to recap some things that I know about Bahrain and then, as this learning intention, I can compare countries, indicates I'm going to compare the two wonderful countries. First, here are some common facts about New Zealand. As you can see from the map, there are two main islands. There are also some smaller ones. New Zealand has just under 5 million people. Our Prime Minister is called Jacinda Ardern and she has been active in the New Zealand government as Prime Minister since 2017. New Zealanders speak many different languages, but our three official languages are Māori, which is the land of our the language of our official people, our indigenous people, English, and sign language. New Zealand's national animal is a flightless bird called the kiwi. It is endangered, which means there aren't too many of them left. Now it's time to do a quick recap about Bahrain. Bahrain is made up of one main island and several smaller ones. It has just over one and a half million people. The Prime Minister of Bahrain is also the Crown Prince. He is named His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and he has held the role of Prime Minister since 1970. Bahrain has just under two million people. In Bahrain, the national language is Arabic but English, Urdu and many other languages are commonly spoken there because Bahrain has a diverse range of different cultures. Bahrain's national animal is the oryx, which you can see here. But sadly, the oryx is also endangered. Now I'm going to compare both countries with one another. So both are made up of islands but Bahrain has one main island and New Zealand has two. Both countries are led by a Prime Minister but Bahrain's Prime Minister is also a Crown Prince and has been in office for much longer than New Zealand's Prime Minister. Both countries have small populations but while Bahrain has just under 2 million, New Zealand has just under 5 million people. Both countries have many cultures and speak lots of different languages but Bahrain being a Muslim country has Arabic as the official language whereas New Zealand has three official languages. Both countries have endangered national animals but New Zealand's is a small flightless bird whereas Bahrain's animal is the majestic oryx. So as you can see both countries are similar, but they also have many differences and they're both fantastic places to live. 